Why, look. It's the bastard son of the late William Kidd. Still a mere boy, and yet... Ten times the demon his father was. Fancy seeing you here, can we? Still looking sleek and mean. Did you steal that costume from a dandy in Havana? No, sir. I found this on a corpse. One that was walking about and talking shite to my face only moments before. Huh. So, what's this I hear about a planned raid on a plantation? Not keeping secrets from me, are you? Not very well. Every day, schooners packed with sugar sail past, coming from plantations nearby. Most times, they stop here, sell off a few crates. There's one man visiting today that would earn you a fine profit. So if you'd like to rob his plantation, I'll point him out. I would. Is it a Mr. Beckford that owns this plantation? That's the man. He owns dozens round these islands. And he's bloody rich. Just the sort I like to see robbed. His agent is around here somewhere. Find and follow him, and he'll lead you straight to your bride. Burford, Manning, to me. We've done with this place. Aye, sir. What's our call? We'll return to the plantation and there take stock of our inventory. It was a good harvest this year. You might not talk so loud, sir. This is here from our friend report, Ken. Nonsense, man. I had a delightful conversation with a chap just now. We came to the place and understand it. As you say, sir. All up and unfurl, boys. We're going home. man crafting a bold idea. Look I've seen before. You mark well, Ade. I've just overheard one of the Beckford's men talking grandly about his plantation and all the cargo he's keeping there. And it gave me the idea that I might take these goods off him and sell them off for a better price than he'd ever ask. <laughs> ah, a man of vision. I like this idea.
force patrol these waters closely, Captain. Hold, Addy. There's trouble afoot. I see them. This man's working for Peter Beckford's people. Did you know them? The Beckfords in their sugar empire. Aye. The Beckfords and the Draxes. I never worked their plantations, but I knew their names from hearing other men curse them. But you worked the plantation, no? A modest one, aye. As a striker in the boiling house. The boiling house? Was it water they boiled? Something else? Game juice. Hard process making sugar. Dangerous, too. Must be why it fetches such a dear price. What's it like? Toiling on a plantation day and night. Well, with the cane sugar cut and harvested, it's run between two metal rollers and crush the juice from the plant. After collecting the juice, it was time to boil away the water from the sugar. This we did in tatches made of copper. But let me tell you, brother, boiling sugar is near the hottest thing on earth. Just a touch on the skin, it stick like wood line and burn on, leaving a terrible scar. Jesus. Storm there, Captain! Looks bad! It's a risk to anchor too close. The soldiers roving the plantation will catch us for sure. Drop here then and sneak ashore. We look after the jackdaw. such disarray. Bit of a do, sir, that's all. It's Wilmington's birthday. And you saw fit to get pickled on duty. No bother, sir. We've everything sorted. We'll soon see, won't we? For you must double the watch this evening. Double, sir? Whatever for? I believe I was followed here, young man. By pirates, if my eyes on me. Certainly wasn't slavers, though. Not a ship that size. In any case, double the watch. And keep your damned eyes wide for anything suspicious. You up there! Look alive, man! You've a job to do! Apologies, sir. I'll keep my eyes peeled. going on here today? How do you suppose you'll be able to ring that alarm if you're piss drunk and barely able to stand? Forgive me, sir. I am fit and able. If I see any strangeness about, you'll hear the bell ringing straight away, I promise.
to get pickled on duty. No bother, sir. We'll get everything sorted. You'll soon see, won't you? For you must double the watch this evening. Double, sir? Whatever for? I believe I was followed here, young man. By pirates in my eyes on me. Though the ship was uncommonly large for such rascals. Certainly wasn't slavers, though. Not a ship that size. In any case, double the watch. And keep your damned eyes wide for anything suspicious. You up there! Look alive, man! You've a job to do! Apologies, sir. I'll keep my eyes peeled. For God's sake, what the hell is going on here today? How do you suppose you'll be able to ring that alarm if you're pissed drunk and barely able to stand? I'd like to speak to the man in charge here. I require entrance to the warehouse. Which of you dogs has the key to the warehouse, huh? The key, goddammit! Someone find me the key! Is there no one over here? Check warehouse if you please. We all want to get to our point. You can curse me later. Now you work. What was that, Jones? Hate to the task in hand. You can curse me later. Now you work. Speed the pace. We all want to get to our points. Hold that. Hello! Help me, damn it! You're not losing this. Fast up. Got him fighting. Got a clear shot, man. Should look to his men's privilege.
Is he a tough guy? Come where you are! Here's to our pirate republic, lads. We're prosperous, free, and out the reach of kings, clergy, and debt collectors. Near 500 men now pledge their allegiance to the brethren of the coast in Nassau. Not a bad number. True. Yet we lack sturdy defenses. If the king were to attack the town, he'd trample us. Then let us find the observatory. If it does what these Templars claim, we'll be unbeatable. Not that twaddle again, can we? It's a story for schoolboys. I mean, proper defenses. Steal a galleon, shift all the guns to one side. But 
make a nice ornament for one of our harbors. It will not be easy to steal a full Spanish galleon. Have you one in mind? I do, sir. And I'll show you. She's a fussock, she is. Fat and slow. <laughs> 